This year has been a remarkable year for NEOS and not only for the software but also for the software project because after the split uh, from the Type 3 project we were able to get back to work quite quickly uh, with the new infrastructure and new communication channels and we worked on four versions of Flow and NEOS which contains each some really nice new features and so this is now end of this year that we present you the uh, winter release of NEOS, NEOS.2.1, uh, which contains um, a special focus on workspaces and stackable workspaces. And what that means, I will explain you now by showing you NEOS 2.1. Well, there have been many changes under the hood, of course, in NEOS 2.1. I'll be focusing uh, mostly on the workspaces feature. So when you go to the demo website, you will recognize a new wallpaper. But of course, more than that, there's that new workspace management. So basically, what you do when you're editing your website is uh, changing content, create live content. And when that is saved, you can publish that to the live workspace. Now, what you recognize is that uh, this button will now tell you that this is going to publish to the live website. So that is the standard um, behavior. But what you also can do is going to the new workspaces module and create new workspaces. So you see your personal workspace here, uh, which is based on the live workspace. And that personal workspace is only visible to you. But you can create a new workspace, um, which you could use, for example, for collecting um, content before um, publishing that to live. And that staging content um, workspace could be only accessible to administrators, for example. Now I created that staging workspace and on top of that you can have multiple workspaces um, which you use for collecting content for different campaigns for example. So let's create another workspace for our Christmas release. And that Christmas release uh, workspace is supposed to be stacked on the staging workspace so everything which has been already published to staging is still visible when you watch through the Christmas release workspace um, and this workspace is supposed to be internal which means it's not visible to the outside but it's visible and accessible to all editors logged in. So we have these workspaces now the live workspace then the live to staging workspace and the Christmas release workspace on top. Let's go to the content module again. What you see is the live content. Now, after you created additional workspaces, you will have a target workspace selector here, which allows you to switch the target workspace for publishing. And now I could publish directly to the staging workspace. So let me just change some content here, create staging content. Now, you see publish to staging says the button when I click that I have now published my personal content workspace uh, content to the staging workspace <laughs> now when I go to the live website um, I will see uh, still the live content of course and when I go to the new Christmas release workspace I will see the staging content shining through you know, because they are stacked on each other. Um, I could write something special for this Christmas release workspace. And maybe uh, just create a few more changes. Um, so let me go to the features page and change something here. I can uh, create new content elements here, of course. For example, some image element. Oh, and that, that's a nice opportunity to show um, another new feature in the NEOS 2.1 release. And that is um, some advanced 
media management and thumbnail handling. So what we um, uh, created is some asynchronous thumbnail generation um, mechanism. So when I up upload a couple of images here at the same time, they are all uploaded and you could see that the thumbnails have been generated in parallel. And that helps, of course, when you uh, need to generate a lot of thumbnails at the same time. So now I have a couple of pictures to uh, choose from. I'll just pick one here, apply that. And of course I can also uh, delete some content here. Now, when I go to the workspace module again, ah, first let me publish that to the Christmas release workspace everything I created. And when I now go back to the workspaces module, you can see that in the Christmas release workspace, there are changes. Um, there's one addition, some modifications and one removed content element. And in the staging workspace, there's still the single change I made earlier. Now what's new is the review button. I can go to a review um, view which shows me all the content which has been changed, added or removed in that particular workspace. So I can now um, go through that content here and probably decide to publish all of that to the staging workspace. And now you see that um, all the content changes have been moved to the staging workspace. Some other editor um, could have some restricted access only to um, to these workspaces. So um, I'm now logged in as some editor um, with some role called uh, the restricted editor role. And you can see here that I can't publish to the live workspace because for me it is read only. So the only possibility I have is to choose the Christmas release workspace. And um, you will notice that the staging workspace is not visible to me because it has been marked as private workspace earlier. So let me choose the Christmas release workspace. I see the changes which have already been made um, and been transferred to the staging at the moment. So I can create some further changes here. Um, maybe also go to the features page. Um, let me change that cropping of that picture here again. So something like that. And now if I go to uh, publish that, and now if I go to the workspaces module again, you see um, the two workspaces I have access to. I can actually review my own changes if I want. Um, you see, for example, a side-by-side -side, um, view of the content. Um, this is the picture as it is currently, and this is the new um, cropped area of that picture. And of course, the administrator um, or the reviewer here would see um, the same view when he reviews uh, the changes. So when I go to review here, I have these changes, I can accept them. Uh, for example, I could accept this change, um, but discard this change. And now when I see the overview, everything is in staging, which I can publish to the live website all at once. So this is uh, the new workspaces feature. There are lots of ideas how you can use that for reviewing. Um, for, for other workflows as well. Um, but I think it's already quite useful uh, what you can do with uh, the built-in features right now. I hope you like the new features in NEOS 2.1. And at this point, I would like to thank everyone who was involved uh, to making this release possible. And especially, of course, the NEOS team with all the people working many hours after work also on NEOS itself, on creating text for NEOS and graphics and all of that. And I'm really happy also about the sponsors we get 
um, of major companies like One and One who create their websites with NEOS, who sponsor special features like the workspaces feature you have just seen. So in that sense, I'm really curious about the next year and I wish you an exciting NEOS year.